What's up guys welcome to your part 2 tutorial of linear layout in this video we will talk about the attribute android layout gravity let me show you directly the codes in action in the eclipse ide now in the eclipse in the activity bean.xml i am having a linear layout with a width of match parent and the height of match parent and presently i am having the orientation vertical now let me show you how layout gravity works when you add a widget to your screen and add the attribute layout gravity let us drag and drop a text view right here now go to the activity main.xml here our text view codes are generated now do one thing add a layout gravity let's say left now go to the graphical layout here by default our text view was aligned to the left side of the screen and when you assign the layout gravity left then this layout of text view will again be aligned at the left side of the screen nothing new now guys please don't worry about the codes just watch carefully what i am explaining like i showed you the attributes in the relative layout likewise in further tutorials i will just clear the concepts how you are going to implement the attributes of the linear layout so just watch it carefully it is not necessary to learn the attributes as of now just watch it now again go to the activity main.xml change the left left attribute to what right now see the change in the graphical layout our text view is now aligned at the right side of the screen now in the vertical orientation we are having another attribute let's write center horizontal now let's check it out now when we write center horizontal then the layout of the text view will align itself at the center of the horizontal axis now i am displaying an image at the right side of the screen to make your concept crystal and clear now let us do one thing let us change the orientation to what horizontal now in the horizontal orientation our widgets are aligned one after the other not below the other so in the horizontal orientation we are having the dif different values of layout gravity now let us do one thing erase it let's write top now this will align the layout of the text view at the top left of the screen now do one thing change top to bottom now here you can see our layout of the text view is aligned at the bottom side of the screen now if you check the first text view that i have inserted here is having a column now you can shift that text view along this column only top bottom and also at the center of the screen right as you can see on the right hand side of the screen i'm displaying an image now let us align it at the center of that column let's use center vertical now you can see our text view is aligned at the center vertical axis of this column itself so in this video in the horizontal orientation of the linear layout we are having the three attributes of the layout gravity top center vertical and bottom this will align your text view at the top at the center vertical and the bottom of the screen and you can you can check out all are present at the same column you can't change the orientation of the text view or a button in the other compartments you can only change the position of the button or the text view or any other widget in its respective column similarly in the vertical orientation of linear layout you can change the position of the text view or any other widget edit text checkbox toggle button or any other widget in its own compartment either left either center horizontal or at the right so this was all about the attribute layout gravity in the next video i will talk about the attribute gravity in linear layout so meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video do share my video guys we need your support to grow thanks for watching and have a nice day thank you